Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a $20 DB wager, and also make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum if you want to go ahead and play in anything like this, I'll leave a link down below to their Discord, and we're going to have a Molly versus Lampy, and let's just hop right in, so yeah, they said 20 it is, so the winner of this will be winning the $20. And then we are going to go ahead and see Lampy win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And they will decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands. We have Talons, Sparrow, Bird Call, Talons, and Chalice. So it's not a bad hand. The going second cards, you know, aren't hand traps, which is an interesting choice. Um, and then they have TC Boo in the main deck, which, oh my god, yeah, it's just... That's going to ruin this person's day. And then Kieran, Talons, Chinglong, and Nian. So something I do want to bring up is that they're both playing Talons. This card went from not being played at all because a lot of people were choosing to play like more hard going to second cards and not playing hand traps. And now people are starting to play more hand traps because there's a lot of people playing like the bird up deck and you really need hand traps against this deck. So... Then, because everyone starts playing hand traps, now Talons becomes a lot better. And then it's also, like, a pretty decent going second card, you know? Um, but their hand works here, and then they also have TC Boo on top of it. So, they're going to start this off with Normal Summon, Kieran Effect, Target, Go Dump Chinglong, and then Dump the Chu Chi. And then activate the Chinglong Effect, banish itself from the graveyard. Go search Lulu, and then discard the Chinglong, Lulu effect, you know, target monster, dumb trap, and then go search out spell. And then get rid of those, go for charge, charge warrior to draw, draws into a nib. And then activate Sean Wu, banish, special summon Lulu, discard talents, neon effect, summon itself out. Yeah, there's just no way the bird player wins this. Choo Chi to up the level, Lulu. And then they go into a Zulkin. They're going to activate City here. So I think the reason why they're activating it instead of setting, uh, not in like a rude way, but I think that they just don't have much like respect for their opponent. Um, again, I don't mean that in like a rude way, but like if they set this, then the opponent could activate, you know, Imperm in response to the Zulkin effect. But now they're going to activate City, bring out Chuchi, set TC Boo, and then they're going to activate Zulkin effect. If they Imperm it, they can change Chuchi to Pop. But if this opponent did indeed have, like, an Imperm, they would pick up on this extremely quick if they know this interaction, and they would just Imperm it here to play around the whole Chuchi thing. Or you could wait till Choo Chi comes out. It'd be the, the same thing. Yeah, just wait till Choo Chi comes out. Um, but obviously, they don't have like an, uh, an Imperm or a Veiler here. Bring out Crystal Wing. And then go for Shen Shen. And then they are going to pass turn. Draw Fractal. And then go main phase. Activate Bird Call. Bird Call. Go search out the war. Um, yeah, I was going to say that should be banished because of Shen Shen. And then Special Summon War, War Effect. And then they're going to Chain TC Boo. Uh, Zulkin does indeed go because these are both dragons. And then Fractal Effect, Chain Crystal Wing, Activate Chalice, targeting the Crystal Wing. So now Fractal will still go ahead and dump Nerval. And then Nerval Effect to go search. Nerval will go ahead and grab the Kuraz there. And then Talents to draw. Talents to draw. They main deck Harpy's Feather Duster? And, the, and they drew it? Okay. That. There's no way. <laughs> like, there's no way you're playing this card in the main deck of your bird up deck. Oh, my gosh. But, like, it's. It's literally what they needed here. Like, there's no way. Yeah, Wowzers. Ex Kind of, kind of said it better. It's actually just no way. And they still have Niv in hand, too. Like, the Virtual World player had a pretty insane hand. But, jeez. Harpies in the main? I mean, like, it's your Mystic Minot, I guess. But, still, I prefer cards that are, like, good going first and second. Where Harpies is only good going second. While Cosmic is, like, 
good at going first or second. It, it's a it's a pretty solid card. Uh, you know, Cosmic can also stop things that Harpies can't, like a Schism or something. Or like an Artifact. Um, go ahead and summon out Sparrow. Sparrow effect a Surge. And then that's going to go Surge out Swallow. Swallow effects, summon itself, and the DD Crow. And then they're going to activate the Nib there. So go ahead, get rid of everything. Pass over the token. Um, nib comes out. Yeah, and then they're going to be getting their Blossom effect. The draw and put back. Draws Chalice. Put back Talons. Um, set. So, so that token is crazy big, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely you want to calculate that out. They draw City there. Um, that's not a bad draw. Because, like, realistically, right? You could just, like, summon Shen Shen, set up Chu Chi, um, Chu Chi out the token this turn, Chu Chi be live next turn, plus Shen Shen live. Like, that doesn't seem bad. But they might also want to, yeah, I was going to say, they might also want to go ahead and activate, like, the Qinglong to be able to go ahead and uh, try to keep playing here. Which uh, is probably just the right play, right? Because, like, well, they have gone through, so they're going to have to dump spell at trap here, right? Yeah, dump spell, go grab Choo Chi, because, like, they already went through two of their traps, so they can't, like, dumb trap, go grab city or anything. Um, then they're just gonna set that. No, this definitely wasn't the right play. Yeah, I, I had to think that through for a second. Like, without you having, like, the extra trap in deck to be able to go ahead and get city, like, what's the point of doing this? Like, yeah, you put Lulu on board, but you could have Choo Choo popped the token on your turn, and then have applied pressure... And still have Chuchi Chi live for the next turn. While here, um, like the, the token's pretty big, you know, 88 attack, like that that can get dangerous. Like this is a real threat. But then like they also top decked insane. So summon out the berry and the sparrow, and then sparrow effect to go search, and then now we'll go ahead and search out from the deck to the hand the nerve ball. So think on res, thumbs up, normal summon out Nerval, and then they're going to activate Chuchi to pop Nerval, so they're doing this here because they don't want them to get a Nerval search, I'm assuming. Um, you have to realize they can't go for links because Barry does have the restriction of the XYZ technique, um, so it has to be because they don't want them to get the search. I mean, the board can be outed now. Fairly simple. They go for assembled, switch to attack, and then they're just gonna go battle phase, token, beat over Shen Shen. Like, look at, look at that. 6,000 over Shen Shen. Wild. And then attack for 12. It's gaining 400 from its own effect, and then 200 from the berry. So 600 and can attack twice. And then, ooh, okay, so they're going to decide to pass here. They don't go for, like, you know, downward Zeus. They just pass. Um, I mean, I guess if you, like, go for Zeus, like, you go downward Zeus, and then you go Zeus wipe field. Like, what are they top deck to beat that? Like... Yeah, they can Shen Shen summon itself out. Any card that they draw is going to be a discard for Qinglong. But then they could Zeus wipe when they target. Nah, you wouldn't even Zeus wipe when they target. You'd Zeus wipe on the resolution, right? Well, I guess it depends what they add. Because, like, let's just say, like, theoretically, they add Lulu. And then Lulu targets Shen Shen. Then you chain Zeus. Then they could set Lulu pass. And your only body is Zeus. So now they stay alive. So where if you just let it resolve, and then you can go ahead and wipe afterwards. 
the past or GG. Well, I guess if you wipe afterwards, then they would have a like lower Shen Shen to a six, and then they'd be able to like force it out anyways. And then they would have a Chu Chi in hand. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's just a lot to think about right now. This has really been a, this has been an insane game one for like. Like, how good this hand was for the Virtual World player. And then, like, the Harpy's Feather Duster. Like, this is a wild game one. Go grab Lulu, discard GG, Lulu effect, target trap, dumb spell, summon, and they are going to go ahead and search out the Roshi. And then activate the assembled effect here. Um, and they're just going to let this go through. Um... I mean, does it, uh, I guess like if you pop that, then you're not outing the token this turn. And like, they could just go for a Zeus anyways. You know, they could like nib attack assembled if they want to, and then downer Zeus and then just wipe the field anyways. Roshi effect, dump. Summon, special summon back out, GG, and then Neon effect, summon, and then go for Juju, Neon effect, go ahead, put back Neon, and then they are going to go battle phase, attack, and you know, there's no damage from, you know, because they use that effect, go for M7, and then M7 effect, detach, add back Lulu. There's definitely a way for them to go for a game this turn, right? Like, I really feel like there was a way to go for a game. I, I, uh, yeah, but I feel like they're in very, like, they have high control of this game. Zeus to try to wipe, chain chalice on that. They're just going to let this go through. And then activate Chuchi to out the token. And then end phase, GG add back Roshi, pass, draw Fractal. Um, that's not a bad draw. They're gonna go battle phase, start a battle phase, they said think. And then they're going to attack directly with Assembled. They're gonna activate Zeus. Can't they just activate Choo Chi to go ahead and pop this? Um, like if the Choo Chi pop this, then like they're gonna chain the effect obviously, and then they're gonna go down or it, and then you could Zeus wipe them. But I guess that does play into a talent, so they don't want to play in a talent, so they just go ahead and they Zeus wipe here, and then they're gonna go main phase two. They're gonna normal summon out Fractal. And then Fractal Effect, Banish. So Banish 4, Special Summon out Omen. And then Omen Effect, out the Zeus. It's just been such a good game. Honestly, your top decks have been decent. Yeah, that was definitely a pretty good top deck. I mean, there was a lot of good top decks there, actually. Like Bird Call, War, um, any Tri Brigade really works. Like a Barry wouldn't even be bad. Like there, there was a lot of like pretty solid top decks there. And then Omen effect to go search. Omen, go search out Nerval. And then Blossom, special summon out the Nerval. Nerval effect, banish two. Special summon out from the extra deck. Go for the double dragon lords. And then go for some Morg. Nerval and Blossom. So they are going to search out the Fractal and then draw Imperm. Ooh, so such a good player like the draws were just insane there go ahead and that's gonna summon out the apex avion so now they have three interruptions off the one fractal pass draw desires and then they're gonna go main phase they're gonna activate shun shun effect banish they're gonna chain the apex avion here um all right so they're gonna go ahead and negate this Bounce back the Apex Avion. 
and then activate desires banish 10 let's see what do they draw here banish 10 draws into a kieran and talents Ooh, that that's pretty good that's a pretty solid draw you know they could have drawn like a droll or a nib there um, we also see multiple roshi go down there so they actually don't have a roshi in deck the last one is in hand and now um, they're gonna activate talents talents to take it's gonna take the samorg and then just go battle phase beat over the double dragon lords and then main phase two they're gonna normal summon out lulu and then activate the roshi effect target dump spell special summon special summon back out gg and then they're going to overlay those for break sword break sword effect attached target some morgan back row also i know someone's going to say this oh some more can't be targeted but it says your opponent can't target this they are not the opponents so they can target it but they're going to chain imperm on break sword there this is frustrating <laughs> wild game yeah, I mean, they can still go ahead and out some more, though. So, like, that shouldn't be a problem. Unless that their extra deck is, like, really goofy. They're gonna banish, target, go for Vermilion. Yeah, Vermilion effect, go ahead, out the some more. The thing is, is, like, they, if they top deck good, that's actually gonna be wild. Like, they have a decent amount of good top decks here. Um... Ooh, uh, they de they definitely didn't use GG effect, right? Um, I want to make sure. I don't think I don't think they did, right? Yeah, yeah I was gonna say the summon from grave. Fairly certain that they didn't have that in hand, but want to make sure draw chalice and I mean that's not twenty seven two thousand twenty eight. I mean that's fifty five. Yeah, this game so. Going on to the next game. Wow, not the third consecutive insane top deck. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so going on the game two now. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to see the bird up player go first. Opening hands, we have tanky, swallow, kit, war, and sparrow. Nice hand, this definitely works. They have Nib, City, E Tele, GG, Kieran. You know, they can't complain about this hand. They have a pretty solid hand trap, and then the rest of their hand is pretty solid engine cards. So special summon out war, war effect to summon out the sparrow there, and then sparrow effect to go search, and then sparrow will grab the nerve ball, and then overlay for starling, starling effect detached to go search, and then that will go ahead and grab the wagtail, and then swallow effect to special summon itself out, and special summon out the wagtail from the hand, and then wagtail effect to go search bird call. And then overlay, go for Starling. Um, on that summon, they're going to activate Nib. This, if you have Nib versus this deck, on the summon of the second Starling is where you drop it. Most most case scenarios. Because right here, they would go ahead, detach, and search, right? And then overlay for F0. And then you have to drop Nib before they make Draco. So you may as well stop them from getting a search than to like drop it on the F0, you know? So go ahead and drop the nib, pass over the token, and then they're going to normal summon out Nerval, Nerval effect, banish from the graveyard, and then that will go ahead, banish four, special summon out Omen, Omen effect, banish nib, and then turn those into a blossom, Nerval and Omen effect, so get a double search here, grab Kuraz, and then grab Sparrow, blossom, special summon out Sparrow, Turn those into the Samorg. Blossom to draw and put back. So they draw into a droplet. Put back Tanky. Kuraz effect. Discard special summon. Uh, kit effect to go ahead and dump. And then that's going to dump the Oath. And then Kuraz summon out the Double Dragon Lords. Which puts up the three types that they need for Oath. And then activate Bird Call. Now, Bird Call will go ahead and grab Barry, and then, you know, special summon out Barry, special summon out Swallow, 
overlay those go for the robin and then they're gonna go ahead and uh you know uh, attach a few things here so they're gonna attach that and then wagtail attach that and then i'm guessing they're just gonna set droplet end phase some morgue summon out the apex avion so now they have apex avion robin double dragon lords droplet oath through a nib and then pass draw droplet so they're gonna go ahead and activate city here and then city bring out chinglong chinglong effect banish to negate the apex avion and then they let that go through oops sorry start coughing really hard there but all that happened was that they dumped for kieran and then go ahead and robin to do the bounce and then they're gonna activate GG effect. So then they're gonna chain e -Telly, chain Oath to try to negate e -Telly, and then chain Droplet to get rid of those, to negate these. And then they're still gonna go ahead and e -Telly, summon out the Lulu, GG, Dump Roshi, Special Summon. And then they're gonna activate Neon effect to summon itself out. Get rid of those, go for charge, charge warrior to draw into a droplet, and then activate Chuchi effect, and that's going to raise the level of Lulu, go for fan fan, battle phase, attack the double dragon lords, and then main phase 2, go for Gaia dragon, and then Zeus, Zeus effect to go ahead, try to wipe, chain droplet to negate, and then... They are going to go ahead. It looks like they're trying to pass. Um, they got to get their GG ad back. And then also some more will go ahead and summon. Yeah, you can see that like they forgot about GG there. But then they remembered. And it's still technically end phase, so they're good. Uh, Sparrow will be summoned. And then Sparrow will go search out Nerval. And then they're going to pass, draw Warbler. Now, moving to the main phase, they're going to activate Kuraz effect, banish, and then it's going to special summon out the good old Omen. Omen effect, and then chain Zeus. If they wanted to, they could have set Droplet, and then Droplet would have been able to go ahead and deal with Omen. Um... Yeah, they could have done that. It's like, using Zeus is just like really bad. It's not really going to do a lot. Like, you know right here your opponent's going to keep playing. Like, they have Omen Surge. They have Robin Add back. Like, you're, like, this player's going to keep going. Um, so get the effects. That's going to add back and go search. Yeah, they should just be going for game here, I think. Or at least setting up a board really hard for the opponent to crack. So special summon. And then bring out the Sparrow. Sparrow effect to go search. And then that's going to grab the Berry. Normal summon out Fractal. And then Fractal effect. Banish. And then summon. And they're going to summon out Silver. Alright. Um, and then... Berry effect to summon itself and special summon back out the swallow there. And then they're going to overlay all of those for assembled. Assembled effect. And yeah, that was going to go ahead and uh, attach one there. But we're going to see them emit the feed. So going on into game three. Now we've had, we've had two really, 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 really good games. So there's no way we get a third good game, right? Like. We're going to see Virtual World go first. Opening hands, we have Droplet, Nerval, Nerval, Storm, Chalice. And then they have Droll, Roshi, Chinglong, Gigi, and Kieran. Alright, so the player that went first opened up good enough to play. And the player going second opened up a good enough hand to most likely be able to break the board. And then Kieran, Target, Dump Chinglong, and then Dump Chuchi. Activate the Chinglong effect. Banish itself. Grab Lulu, and discard the Roshi, and then Lulu effect, 
target monster, dump trap, summon, go grab spell. You know, you got to get access to Choo Choo and Lulu's the only way you do that. Um, getting access to, like, your other virtual world monsters isn't really that hard. There's a lot of, like, alternative routes to get there. And then they're going to go for the Zulkin. You know, get the Coral Dragon effect. That's going to draw into a GG. And then Set City, Zulkin effect. Special summon out the Crystal Wing there. I was going to say, they were, they were thinking a lot there for a second. I was like, are they not about to go for Crystal Wing? Uh, activate City and bring out Choo Choo from the deck. And then Sean Wu. Banish, Special Summon GG, Discard GG, Neon Effects, Summon itself out. And then they're going to activate Choo Choo, Banish, up the level, and then get rid of those. Go for Shen Shen. And then they're going to activate the Neon Effect there. Neon, put back Choo Choo. And then activate Ching Long, Banish. So now they are back to the four Banished. Um, they just wanted to put like a trap in the deck that helps out a lot, especially if they get hit with something like a Cosmic on the Choo Choo. And then they're going to add back Lulu. And you might be like, who's going to side in Cosmic versus Virtual World? Not a lot of people do that. Well, like, inherently versus Virtual World, you're almost always going to get the hit Choo Choo, right? So, like, your Cosmic will always be like a one for one. But then there's also TC Boo in your opponent's deck list, which is such a scary card. And then, like, you know, it it's decent versus the Virtual World engine, but really good at adding the Floodgate. Draw Kit. And then there's also, you know, other stuff going around, like Anti-Spell, Order, um, those cards are pretty popular right now. So they're going to go ahead and activate the Lightning Storm here, calling Spell and Trap. And then they're going to chain Choo Choo, target Ching Long, so they're doing that just to go ahead and put those back. And then activate Droplet, get rid of Kit, negate the Crystal Wing, and then Kit Effect a Dump. Um, yeah, it's also Banished. Uh, because of the Shen Shen, Kit Dump Nerval, Nerval Effect to go Surge, and then Nerval is going to grab Fractal, and then right there they're going to activate the Draw Mockbird. And then Normal Summon Fractal, Fractal Effect, Banish, so Banish 2, Special Summon, and then that will bring out the Blossom, Blossom Effect to Special Summon, and then that will bring out the Nerval. Um... Let's see what they end on here. They're gonna go for some more. And then just go battle phase, attack. And then set chalice. And then end phase, some more effect to summon. And then some more is gonna summon out Apex Avion. So, was there a way to play this differently? Like, let's say you do indeed just uh, droplet, like, also negate this by getting rid of the extra Nerval, then you would be able to normal summon out Nerval instead of Fractal, banish to Special Blossom, Blossom Special out Fractal, turn the Nerval and so, Nerval and Blossom into some Morgue, and then you know, you'd have Fractal effects still since you started off in Nerval. Fractal for Double Dragon Lords. Double Dragon Lords would be able to bounce Shen Shen. You'd be able to beat over the board. You out the Shen Shen. You leave your opponent with only a Lulu versus an Apex Avion, Chalice, Double Dragon Lords, some work follow up. And then Pass, draw Imperial Order. Also, if you're wondering why they didn't attack this, it's because they can't. This card has an effect that everyone always forgets. So, that's why they didn't attack that. Switch to attack. And then go battle phase, attack, effect or not of Shen Shen. Said, ah, okay. Um, I was going to say, that didn't really look like a nah. That was like, ah, yeah, I do have Shen Shen effect. Let me think about that. But they are going to activate the effect, and then they're going to chain their Apex Avion. Okay. I mean, this is game. End phase, some work, summon. 
And then this will go ahead and special summon out the Apex Avion, draw Fractal, you know, playing it safe there. And then go main phase, Fractal effect to go dump. Dump the Warbler, then Fractal effect, banish, special summon out Blossom. Blossom effect to summon. And then that's going to summon out the Nerval. And then get rid of all of those. Said GG's. GG. Our sec. I'll let you play it out. Um. I mean, hold on. When? Okay, they were already summoned in the graveyard. But I feel like once you say GG's, like right then and there, the game is over. Like, you shouldn't be like, oh, GG's, and then be like, oh, suck, I'll let you play it out, because your opponent might start playing it differently because the game's over. Um, so I, I felt like that was kind of whack, but they're just going to go for this, get the effects, and then, yeah, GG's, want to run it back? Uh, maybe another time, it was a very long game, and I have work, GG though, just DM me your PayPal. Alright, nice. Um, that... Like, that was, so, like, all three games of that were very, very, very good. Like, there wasn't one game where I wasn't, like, impressed with the gameplay. I, I guess, like, you know, game two, like, it wasn't that great, but, it, I mean, it wasn't that bad either. It was, like, better than most games but that, that was a really 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 good match and it was a money match on top of that we're gonna see that that was almost an hour and a half long and we are going to see the amai win the 20 dollars there and we're gonna see lampy lose the 20 dollars and again make sure to go ahead and check out the coliseum discord link down below at the top of the description great place to go ahead and play Yu-Gi-Oh if you want to play for money and you can play safe too, they have middleman, so it's never just like, oh, you know, if your opponent loses and then they're like, well, I'm going to scam you. That's just not a thing, as long as you just use a middleman. So always use middlemans, otherwise you're at risk of getting scammed. And, you know, Coliseum has plenty of middleman, so that's nice. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.